Hi, it's Lucas again. Hope you guys have a good weekend. It's Monday, September 21st. The first month of school is coming to an end already. It's time to bring some good news again. We have news about Bay Area air quality, a great international talk, like a pirate segment, and the special advisory challenge with Sean We tell you more about it. Let's toast it over to Sean. Crocker, get ready. We have a special advisory challenge to throw at you. Mr. Hager's advisory pose for a special advisory challenge picture that you see on your screen right now. We think we look pretty awesome. Can you top this amazing advisory picture? If so, send your best shot to Mr. Hager and we will feature you on HTV. Clean air at last. The air quality will be good this week, so go outside and take advantage of the smoke-free air. The weather will be good too. Expect sun today and Tuesday and a little bit of clouds on Wednesday. Thursday will be sunny and Friday partly cloudy. Hope you have a great week. Fortunately, the coronavirus cases have been increasing lately. Cases of COVID-19 are edging close to 30 million worldwide. The United States is a country with the highest number of cases at almost 7 million. Brazil and India are the second and third countries on the worldwide list. In addition, over 2,000 more cases were recorded in California and almost 300 cases in San Mateo County. Some good news is that San Francisco, San Diego, and other places in California are now reopening some theaters, but with 25% capacity. During this tragic pandemic, I think we all deserve to go out and see a movie, but don't forget to stay safe and wear a mask when you're around other people. Last Tuesday evening was what to expect night. All the teachers put so much effort into the class presentation, so big thanks to them. We hope your parents came and got to meet all the wonderful teachers here at Crocker. In reading news, last Tuesday was Gail Carson Levine's B-Day. Some books that Gail wrote were Dave at Night, The Wish, and A Ceiling Made of Eggshells. Also, last Saturday was Talk Like a Pirate Day, and we had some special guests to entertain you. Arr! Shiver me timbers, Crocker, it's Talk Like a Pirate Day, and I have some pirate book recommendations for you. The first is Pirates by Celia Reese, fantastic adventure about uh, two girls who run away and become pirates on a ship. The next one is from the Twisted Tale series. This is Straight On Till Morning. It's a tweak on the Peter Pan story. What if Wendy first traveled to Neverland with Captain Hook? I know lots of our students love this series. This is by Liz Braswell. Our sixth graders, tend to love the You Wouldn't Want to Be a series. So I have You Wouldn't Want to Be a Pirate's Prisoner, Horrible Things You'd Rather Not Know. This is by John Malum. Awesome series, fun uh, nonfiction. And lastly, for some nonfiction fans, this is The Whita. It's a nonfiction um, account of a pirate sh ship that was involved in the slave trade in 1716 has some cool um, historical elements to it and i think that some of our students will like this a lot so have a great day read lots of books see you later hello my name is nikita and i'm gonna kind of teach you how to talk like a pirate so here it goes my is me you is ye i am is i be you are as you be. He is as she be. She is as she be. Yes and yeah is I. Hello and hey is ahoy. Of is oh. Like she's sealing the bit, the buried treasure, the buried booty. Oh, friend is matey, treasure's booty, and that's what I found on how to talk like a pirate. Ahoy! Ahoy mateys, I'm a pirate. Arg mateys, shiver me timbers and have a great talk like a pirate day. Arr, I'm a pirate. Ahoy, I am Pirate Alex. And I am on a pirate ship. Arg. Hi, Crocker. I am the Chihuahua Pirate, and I have a dub for you. 
Why does it take pirates so long to learn the alphabet? Because they spend years at sea. Have a great day. Hi, it's Brendan bringing your exciting and jaw-dropping basketball news. Last Tuesday, the Denver Nuggets beat the Los Angeles Clippers in a heated Game 7. The Denver Nuggets now get to face the Los Angeles Lakers to get a spot in the finals. Also, the Boston Celtics lost in a close Game 1 overtime to the Miami Heat. The Miami Heat beat the Celtics 117-114. to Also, don't forget to try out the new advisory challenge. In MLB news, the Dodgers were the first team to clinch a playoff spot. But the Giants are still competing for the last few playoff spots, and it looks like they could be a playoff team this year. Last week, they got through a COVID scare and had to move their Seattle game down to Oracle Park due to bad air quality. And now, listen up, matey. Aurora, it's me, the pirate, the king of pirates. Oh hi, matey! Our mateys is me, Pirate James, with my pirate parrot cat. Say hi. Ahoy, mateys! As your math professor, I give no quarter to those scallywags who don't show their work. I'll make you walk the plank. Arr. Arr, it's me, Pirate James, again with my pirate treasure. If you choose to lock your heart away, you'll lose it for certain. The problem is not the problem. The problem is your attitude about the problem. Do you understand? <laughs> Arr. Ahoy, ye gentle people of adventure. We've got a suitable anchorage, and I like the cut of your jib. Savvy? Now fare thee well. This is in Miller's house. Today's pirate day in the Miller's house. <laughs> Wait, okay, everybody say yo ho, yo ho. The pirates like for me. Okay, that's good, that's good. Okay, we already got a good one. <laughs> Well, here's all for us, and our goal is to bring you guys a good experience of our show. Thank you for watching the HTV. Enjoy the rest of the day.